So solar heating works really good with floor heat. That is if the pad is well insulated and there's multiple circuits to bring the heat in. And unfortunately I don't have something that quite matches that description. And uh, so this is kind of like my third choice here using a, a radiator and a fan. So that one is going right now. And I'll show you what's happening in the collector outside. So it's measuring 184 Fahrenheit in the uh, last collector right now. So just prior to entering the building, that's the measurement that, uh, that the glycol is sitting at. And so this pump here is running through that radiator. And this pump is set on high. And what's supposed to happen is when uh, the shop gets up to temperature, then uh, that fan and uh, radiator shuts down and the uh, extra heat is stored in a tank. So, yeah, so return temperature right now. So we're looking at about 142 on the return. So what I'm thinking is there's enough in this system to actually run two radiators like that and two fans because, you know, like, I'm trying to extract as much heat as possible during the day because it's like the time is ticking, like the sun goes down, so let's get the heat out. And it seems like this system is sized big enough that it should be able to handle two uh, radiators, two fans. So that's the project today. So this is going to be the second radiator and fan combination. It's pretty comparable in size to that first one that's already running. So it has about a 12 inch fan in the back and uh, one inch fittings. So I'm gonna reduce that down to three quarter pecs. And I'm gonna run these radiators parallel. So this, this one will actually never get as hot as that first radiator. And uh, it's gonna just act as a helper. So uh, a lot of the time, the first one will be running and this one won't. And uh, it's just gonna cut in on a temperature sensor when it when uh, when it when it's needed then it's going to cut in like on a cloudy day this one would never cut in or um, first thing in the morning and uh, later on in the afternoon when the system is uh, coming on and going off then this thing would long have shut off already it's just on sunny days when there's lots of heat to be had then uh, it'd be nice to capture a lot more of it when it's available so that's the strategy here behind the second setup Okay, so this thing is upside down right now. I'm just putting the mount together and uh, basically I just got to drill the holes on the back side to mount on the wall and then uh, paint the frame here. I think I'll do that too. So I had, to, I'm going to show you the fan that was on there and uh, I already cut a big opening in the back for a, a bigger fan and about a, a much slower turning motor. I'm going to show you why I did that. So if any of you guys have ever worked in a hog barn, you know how loud those ventilation fans can be. And uh, so this thing's not like that loud, but it kind of reminded me of that. And I still want to be able to work in here without getting mad at this thing. It's, you know, like, hi yi yi So the idea is to use a slower turning motor and a bigger blade. So this is the quarter horse motor that I want to use and I would tell you what speed it turns if I had my glasses. I think it's a thousand and seventy five if I see that right. So yeah three speed. Uh, I think the black is high speed and then there's the red and the blue. So it also also rubber mount right in here. This thing can, I can actually pull that rubber mount right off of there. You get an idea how that looks. This here is where those rubber mounts fit in, right in here. And it's got these little clamps that come around the top with a little bolt along the top. So uh, this actually was for a different size motor and I just cut, kind of cut the middle out. And I just used these ends. So that's kind of how that turned out. And so I discovered this summer a really fast drying black paint that I've been using and it's just trim clad flat black and if you ever want something that dries fast 
that's the stuff to use. That is if you want flat black. You know what I mean? And without the aerosol, don't have all the stink and uh, fumes in the shop, you know? Just paint it on, what's the big deal? But turn it at a lot slower speed and then hopefully get a lot less racket out of it. So it's right now, this motor is sitting in its cradles here. See right in here? Yeah, I was showing you this rubber mount before. And it, it actually has like a, like that outer ring is actually recessed. So you can see it, it sits in that very narrow cradle. It kind of like just drops in there. And then to secure it, there's two straps like this and they hook on, there's a little notch. There's a little notch right there. So let's see if I can get that on there. Yeah, okay. So you can see how that, that comes up and around. And then there's one more from this side and it meets over here. And then there's a little bolt and a nut and then it kind of pinches it together. And that's how that's, that's how that's fastened. And then there's of course, the same idea on the front. So it, rubber mount, slower speed, I think it's quieter. I'm going to edit that other fan into the video.